Hey everyone, Jeremy here with AE Screens, and in this video, I'm gonna be showing you my latest After Effects tool called Speed. What Speed allows you to do is change the timing of anything within After Effects. So this could be a selection of layers, a selection of keyframes, or an entire composition. Up here is the Speed panel, and I'm gonna be controlling everything with this slider. So you can see as I'm moving this slider, we can see this current time indicator is changing, we can also see the amount of frames changing. We can see the current selection, which since nothing is selected, it's gonna treat the whole composition as a selection. And then we can also see what that new time is gonna be as soon as I release it, which I'll go ahead and do that. And now you can see that each layer is changing and all of the keyframes within these layers have changed as well. So up here, I could change this to uh, between frames, seconds, length percentage, or speed percentage. And then over here, I could change the range of this slider. So right now it's negative 50 to 50, but I could increase this or decrease that however I like. If I wanted to make this whole thing go backwards, I could just press this button and that is going to reverse everything. Um, and then with anything, I could also just do this with a selection of layers or a selection of keyframes and it's going to work as well. Right now, auto warp is turned off. If I go ahead, sorry, Right now, auto warp is turned on. If I go ahead and turn this off, then when I drag the slider, we no longer get that preview uh, with the current time indicator, but we can still see how many frames up here and what the current selection is and what the new uh, time is gonna be. And to execute this change, we just press this button and then that's gonna go ahead and shift everything. I'll go ahead and undo. Uh, over here is the extension direction menu. And so by default, it's gonna go from left to right, but we can change this to extend whatever direction we want. So let's change this to uh, go to the left. Now, if I select this and uh, well, let's turn on auto warping. And as I make this longer, you can see that that's just gonna get longer um, from right to left. Go ahead and undo. Now, if I, look at these keyframes, you can see that this one is not on an actual frame, neither are those, and this out point is not on a frame either. So if I wanted to snap everything to the nearest frame, I could have this toggle turned on, and then as I'm making those adjustments, everything will snap to the nearest frame. If I didn't wanna make any adjustments, but I just wanted to snap everything to the nearest frame, I could keep this at zero and then hit that warp button uh, or I could just do this with the whole comp by having nothing selected, and then it's gonna go through each layer, each keyframe, and snap it to the nearest frame. Um, this next button is going to turn on nudging, and so what that does is, let me grab these layers, and nudging is turned on, so as I start to make this longer, everything to the right of this is gonna shift over uh, but it's not gonna affect the timing or speed of these layers. Um, so it just makes a way to, uh, yeah, make these longer um, while shifting everything over. You can also, I'll go ahead and undo, you can also do this with keyframes. So if I wanted to make these keyframes longer but keep the distance between these two the same, I have nudging turned on so I can just make those longer and that keyframe's gonna shift over. Um, this final but toggle right here is the adjust timing. And so with this turned on, um, it's going to adjust the comp timing. So if we change this to four seconds, uh, it's gonna go through and the new comp time is actually four seconds. If this was off, then the comp time wouldn't change automatically. Um, and with this on, we could also uh, have a selection of keyframes. And instead of adjusting the comp time, uh, with this turned on, it's going to adjust the layer time. So because these keyframes belong to this layer, as I start to make this longer, now you can see that that layer itself got longer. Uh, you can further customize how you want speed to behave with in the settings. So you can change the preview. Uh, you can, um, instead of using the current time indicator, this will use a little shape layer, and then you can kind of 
figure out exactly how long you want your selection to be. The downside to the shape layer is that it kind of uh, makes your undo group a little messy, um, your undo history. So that's why I kept the current time indicator as the default, but you can change that in the settings. Um, layers by default, this is going to actually adjust the timing of all the keyframes and the in and out points, but you can instead change this to time stretch. And I'll go ahead and make stretching uh, visible on the columns over here. And so what that's going to do is uh, just adjust the actual uh, stretching within After Effects. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this back to current time indicator. Um, and then pre comps. Uh, so what that's going to do by default is actually go inside your composition and adjust these layers uh, as if you were adjusting this whole composition. Um, but if you instead wanted to uh, just make changes to just this layer, um, you could either do so with time stretching, um, and so that's gonna work the same way I just showed you with those layers, or you could do time remapping, and in this case, that would add some uh, actual time remapping keyframes. Uh, you could also set any of the footage layers to shift and audio is going to set to shift by default. And so here I have um, some sound effects. Uh, well, I have my voiceover here and then some sound effects. And I was using Boombox from Mount MoGraph here and they automatically use, uh, or they automatically include markers with the sound effects. And so I decided to make the markers um, kind of an indicator of where relatively it should shift. So if you uh, just kind of pay attention to uh, where, um, let's say I wanted to make sure that this uh, marker always lined up with the end of this part. Well, then if I, you know, made this whole thing longer, uh, it's going to go ahead and shift everything. Uh, and as it's shifting everything, you can see that uh, this audio clip didn't get longer or shorter. It just moved and that is lined up right with the end of that as it was before. Um, so that's why it's set to shift by default. Um, but of course you could adjust the timing of that if you wanted. And then finally, this smart reverse, uh, this is only gonna come into play if layers is set to adjust timing. Um, and this is just gonna make sure uh, your keyframes are set in the right position so it's preserving everything. Also, if you're using a hold keyframe, it's going to uh, potentially add another hold keyframe uh, just because it's going backwards, um, you'll just want to have that checked on, but uh, that's what it's doing. Um, anyway, that is speed for After Effects. I uh, hope you love it. If you have any questions, please email help at aescreens.com. And until next time, take care.